recorded by Miss S. E. Waldo, a disciple. Thursday, 18th July 1895 The lesson today was mainly Shankara's argument against the conclusion of the Sankhya philosophy. The Sankhyas say that consciousness is a compound, and beyond that, the last analysis gives us the Purusha, witness, but that there are many Purushas, each of us is one. Advait, on the contrary, affirms that Purushas can be only one, that Purusha cannot be conscious, unconscious, or have any qualification, for either these qualities would bind, or they would eventually cease, so the one must be without any qualities, even knowledge, and it cannot be the cause of the universe or of anything. In the beginning, existence only, one without a second, says the Vedas. The presence of Sattva with knowledge does not prove that Sattva is the cause of knowledge, on the contrary, Sattva calls out what was already existing in man, as the fire heats an iron ball placed near it by arousing the heat latent in it, not by entering into the ball. Shankara says, knowledge is not a bondage, because it is the nature of God. The world ever is, whether manifested or unmanifested, so an eternal object exists. Janana Balakriya, knowledge, power, activity, is God. Nor does He need form, because the finite only needs form to interpose as an obstruction to catch and hold infinite knowledge, but God really needs no such help. There is no moving soul, there is only one Atman. Jiva, individual soul, is the conscious ruler of this body, in whom the five life principles come into unity, and yet that very Jiva is the Atman, because all is Atman. What you think about it is your delusion, and not in the Jiva. You are God, and whatever else you may think is wrong. You must worship the Self in Krishna, not Krishna as Krishna. Only by worshipping the Self can freedom be won. Even personal God is but the Self objectified. Intense search after my own reality is Bhakti, says Shankara. All the means we take to reach God are true. It is only like trying to find the pole star by locating it through the stars that are around it. The Bhagavad Gita is the best authority on Vedanta.